Welcome back to the Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. I'm Tommy. I'm Dutch. And today, we played a new game. Another uh, monster game. Another monster game called Monster Expedition. Yeah! Monster Expedition is a card and dice game for... It's basically like... One to four players. Yeah. Right? It's for one to four players, ages 12 and up. Mm. He's not 12. Um, ages 12 and up. <laughs> Where you roll dice, and the dice that you roll gives you points, and the points that you have lets you collect monsters, and the monsters have point values. So, it's uh, we each of us have these three camps, and they're different colors, right? So we've got a yellow camp, a green camp, and a blue camp. Uh, each of the camps starts off with a basic uh, amount of equipment, and if you look here and look at the top there. It's a two black dice and one yellow dice. So if you're rolling two black and one yellow dice, that means you roll these three dice, and those points are the ones that you get for uh, to collect monsters with. Now it's a it's a game where you, as you roll the dice, the more roll, dice you roll, the more often you roll them, the more likely it is you might lose one of your dice because if you get a if you get a matching dice, so if we roll these four dice. And we get a 10, a 5, a 3, and a 1. And we bank one of these numbers, right? Like the 10. Like the 10, because that's a good one, because this goes up to 10, and you can't get a duplicate. And then you roll these three black ones. And then you get 3, 2. Well, that's a bad example. So you got two twos. And then you roll this again. If you got another 2... The 10 would die. The 10 would go away, because yeah. if you've got a conflict, if you've got a... Uh, and I, I keep forgetting what it's called. If you get a conflict after you roll that dice one more time, you lose your highest number, and then you'd only have two points to spend on monsters, which isn't enough. Four points. Four points to spend on monsters, which isn't enough. So the, the goal of the game is to roll dice and upgrade your camps. And each camp upgrades at the end of each of your players' turns based on numbers in the middle here. And you can't really see them uh, on these cards. But mine, as player three, I upgrade my yellow camp every time I roll a two or someone else rolls a seven. Right? My green camp is I upgrade it every time I roll a three. My blue camp is I upgrade it every time I roll a two. And th the more you upgrade the camp, the more black dice you get to roll. Also, as you collect these monsters, right, Gus? Yeah. As you collect these monsters, if you get a match, if you look at the bottom of these cards, as you match, if I get a blue monster, a green monster, and a yellow monster, I get an extra black dice to roll. So you play the game by rolling dice. You Pick the monsters from the, uh, I think they call it the display. If I take a monster from the display, I replenish it from the deck. And the game ends. And the game ends when you run out of cards from the deck. And you get a different amount of cards depending on how many players you are. We were playing a three-player game, which I think was 35 cards, which means there were some cards left over. Those form a reserve deck so that you can continue out to the end of the game. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh, that way everybody gets to play their last turn out. Uh, and I kind of won again in the how many times in a row? You won a lot. So uh, actually you tied with Gus. Yeah. 38 points, 38 points, and I had 37 points. The so other thing you can do, I was in second or last, exactly. The other thing you can do is instead of buying a monster from the display, you can buy what's called a caged monster. And the caged monsters have secret values that nobody can see. And those give you points at the end of the game. And you play it till the deck is run out. And you keep rolling dice and you keep taking turns. It goes really fast. Um, I know it didn't feel fast because we were just playing for the first time. But I really like this game. So let's talk about the rules that we need, needed to remember. Do you remember a rule that uh, that was good to, to think, think about as you were playing? Remember what your monster does. Right. So each of the monsters sometimes have abilities at the bottom. Right. So these are abilities that happen immediately. So this monster lets you... Uh, upgrade your blue camp right away. Um, some of the monsters are just make a set and get an extra dice. Some of the monsters let you steal cage monsters from other people. Some, some if you roll a, a particular number, you get to upgrade your camp, right? And one, if you clash and lose your highest number, it compensates by upgrading it. Right, and I wish I could remember what they called that in the game. But when you get, uh, if you get a, a, a uh, exact number of the same dice again, if you roll a, a three and you already have a three on the board, 
you lose your highest number, whatever that is called, that's bad. And there's a there's at least one card that lets you get something for that in return. How about you? What was a rule that you needed to remember that you didn't remember? Um. I don't think there really was one. Yeah. I think you forgot to upgrade your your uh, camps a couple times, so you really got to pay attention when when you roll your dice before you scoop them all up. You got to look at that number and see if you can upgrade things because that's how you get better stuff and win the game. Okay. Also. Yeah. Uh, this is, aside from the game. Yeah. They're lucky. I want to get, I want to live on a turtle. Oh, you want to live on a turtle. <laughs> that the artwork, pretty cool. The artwork on these games is really actually pretty cool. This is a, a bunch of airships. This is a green forest. And then this is a, a sea turtle that you're, can't, you're hunting from. So you're hunting from the back of a sea turtle. As you collect monsters, you take the monsters and you put them in front of you. You then replenish it from the deck. And you get to put a marker on that monster. If you have markers on monsters at the end of the game, what happens? You get to claim them. You get to claim them. You get the points for free, Whoa. which is pretty cool, which is how you two tied. And I only had 37 points. Awesome monster. A pretty awesome monster. These are both awesome monsters. The artwork is and beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. This is a giant praying mantis. This is a dark glider, which looks like a, a manta ray, but in the... Uh, in the air. Even though we, we never got this in the game, we should tell them what this does. Yeah, so the monster uh, tr dealer lets you spend 40 points, if you get 40 points, and buy a bunch of cage monsters. So it's a way to increase your, your point values. Um, and they're all so fucking points. So fox is with horns. Yeah. The this, female was the one with short horns, male was long. Yeah, they're they're very pretty. It's a very beautiful card artwork. There's also a look at this one from Bach. Hey, look at this one. Yeah, those look pretty. Those are the same. So, so you you have the the monster case from which you're uh, hunting the monsters. Uh, you're not killing the monsters. You're just capturing them, right? Um, Though I would wonder how you would capture a slime giant. I don't know. So, keep keep in mind what what the cards do. Keep in mind to uh, you need to keep remembering to upgrade your camps so that you can roll more dice. Um, and that's it. Just roll dice and capture monsters and have fun. Yeah. All right. And so don't be too salty about losing because of the dice. Don't be too salty about losing because of the dice because at the end of the game we were uh, you had thirty eight, you had thirty eight, I had thirty seven. We got really close. Um, did we like this game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite part of the game, Gus? It's basically a card game version of Monster Hunter. It's a card game version of Monster Hunter. So you like Monster Hunter. How about you? What's your favorite part? The artwork, honestly. I think the artwork is very awesome. I think the artwork's beautiful. Um, and, and, also, it and also, it's very, very satisfying when you bag a big monster. When you bag a huge monster with a lot of points. One more. Yeah. Also, I think it's... You know what would make this game even cooler? What would make this game even cooler? If there were like 3D models of the monsters. If there were 3D models of That would be hard to do a deck, though. So I can see why they didn't do that. All right. Well, that uh, we liked it. Yeah. So, how many cabbages would you give it, Gus? Two. Three. You're gonna give it three. Yeah. Oh wow. This is cool. I'm gonna give it. Oh, that's hard. I might give it two. I think we'll go ahead and give it seven total cabbages. That makes it a pretty good game. Yeah. Yeah. So seven total cabbages. Fun game. Lots of dice rolling. We bought this cool new dice tower. And. So that Gus thing. wouldn't throw dice all over the room. And the shuffle thing, which we never used in the video. Uh, we didn't use the shuffle thing, right? We did get a card shuffler. Those are kind of hard on cards, so we might we, not use we that should a lot. Show it. We'll show it next time. Yeah. Um, and that's it. So, seven cabbages. We liked it. We'll yeah. play it again, I'm sure. Probably. Um, Maybe with friends. Anything else? Um, subscribe, like, and hit that bell. Okay. Leave a comment if you'd like. I guess it's the outro. Any plenty of cabbages. Not us. not us. Eat plenty of cabbages, not us. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again later. We'll be back again later. See you later.